My name is Glenn Creasy. I'm a senior lecturer here at Lincoln University working in grapevine physiology effectively, but I'm a viticultural lecturer. So my job is to um, do all things related to the culture and management of grapevines, the production of fruit, leading pretty much up until um, it becomes made into wine. More currently, um, my work is focusing, uh, along with the people that work in soil science here and also um, Professor Roland Harrison, uh, at the effects of climate and soil on grapes and wine. So again, we're taking it all the way through into the wine and looking at um, sensory anal analysis of the wine and also into the um, aroma compounds that make up that sensory um, part of the wine. So it's a, a complete package, really, from soil all the way to glass that we're trying to deal with. My name is uh, Roland Harrison. I was born in England in the UK and um, I trained as a chemist um, initially and I teach um, wine chemistry and um, wine technology and uh, do research into aspects of, uh, of wine. So uh, wine chemistry is about um, the various chemical parameters associated with wine. Um, so there are some technical parameters that are important in, in making wine. So for example, pH, acidity, um, sugar content, alcohol content, um, sulfur dioxide concentrations. All, all these parameters are, are important for winemakers because they help control the process of harvesting grapes and, and making wine. Um, but there are other aspects of chemistry which I'm more interested in, I suppose, and that is to do with the chemistry associated with taste and flavour. So uh, why do certain wines taste in certain ways? Uh, what are the chemicals that contribute to that? One of the projects that we were interested in was to look at the relationships between quality in Pinot Noir and mouthfeel. Um, so mouthfeel is a tactile sensation that you have in, in the mouth and it comes about from a number of different components that you find in um, wine. And these components can either come from the grape itself or they can come from um, the metabolism uh, of sugar into alcohol by the yeast. So in doing that conversion, the yeast produces alcohol, but it also produces a number of other byproducts which can be important in terms of both the aromatic but also the mouthfeel aspects of the wine. So uh, we were interested in a variety of different techniques in allowing us to measure these different mouthfeel aspects. So uh, chromatography, for example, to measure acids, different acids, um, enzymatic techniques to measure um, some of the yeast byproducts, um, and sort of straightforward wet chemistry methods to measure uh, the tannins um, here in the lab. Quality winemakers are, are interested in, in the place they're in. There's something about the place they're in which they want to express in, in the wine. And um, so trying to understand what it is about a particular site um, which gives it particular characteristics is, some, I think, something that most winemakers are interested in. Um, they, they, they want to try and understand that and to, and to express that. Different winemakers have different approaches to terroir, um, but I think because wine is, is actually always associated with the place, I think if the winemaker is doing their job properly and the site is expressing something, then they become very distinctive. They have a, a signature that people recognize and say, okay, this wine is expressing this particular site and people are interested in individuality. My name is Peter Armand. I'm an associate professor uh, in the Department of Soil and Physical Sciences at Lincoln University. It's really fulfilling to be able to talk to a viticulturalist and explain to them what the soils are in different parts of their vineyard and allow them then to plan their plantings to, to, for varieties to, to suit different kinds of soils, but also to have the plantings within homogeneous areas of soil so that they can confidently say, 
this is the terroir coming through in the wine. This is the particular kind of soil and you can taste it. Having that uh, finesse in your understanding of the soils allows that to come through to the finesse in the wine. The research we're doing here in Waipara, I think, is very important, not only for the wine industry, uh, particularly those people producing Pinot Noir, uh, it's important for um, a, w a wide variety of reasons that go from production all the way through to marketing and even in consumer appreciation. What we're doing is quite ambitious. We're trying to take a huge amount of information about the soil, the air, the sun, the wind, and all the, all the processes that, and how they interact with the grapevine, all the way through to a wine product that is then interpreted by somebody when they taste it. This project is, is a small step in the direction of making some very important um, decisions for, or important bits of information that can be used in decision making for the industry. And uh, I'm, I'm very hopeful that we'll be able to reach that end at some point in the future.